the Delta variant spreads, health leaders are urging people to just get vaccinated. The message is true in counties with low vaccination rates like Platt. 41 Extra's anchor Bryant Madrick takes a closer look at the numbers and talks with one woman who decided not to get the shot. I'm hanging in there. I'm still glad to be alive. You know, heart still beating. Gina Ross is grateful to be alive, especially after her fight with COVID-19 put her in the hospital a year ago. I felt like a goldfish in a Ziploc baggie with no water, no air, just gasping for air. I felt like uh, I didn't know if I was going to make it. But Gina obviously made it, but a year later, she still feels the effects of the virus. And despite her tough battle, she decided not to get vaccinated. But my daughter did get the Pfizer. She got the first dose and as sick as she got and had to go to the hospital in Louisiana. And I know that I'm her mother and I know my allergies and my sensitivities to medications and things. I won't. Despite Gina's choice, the CDC recommends if you had COVID, you should get vaccinated. The agency explains it's not known how long you're protected from getting sick again and recovering from the virus. And it's possible, although rare, that a person could be reinfected. Gina joins a large number of people in Platte County who are not vaccinated. And according to the state, only 30% of people right now in Platte County have actually started getting their vaccine. The number is a little bit lower when it comes to people who have finished the process at 20 but the county health director points to the CDC, which shows that eligible people vaccinated is actually around 50%. Fear and misinformation is keeping those numbers from being higher. You know, some of the information that folks believe is it's just not accurate. You know, like the vaccine is going to change your DNA. That's not possible. Vernon says our agency is focusing not just on education, but also access to vaccines. If you can't come to the health department, they'll come to you. A few weeks ago, we took a team of nurses and went to like Weston was um, that that area had a little lower vaccination rate. So we went there. Meanwhile, Gina says she's exercising a personal choice that includes plenty of protections. I still wear a mask. I still social distance. I still use hand sanitizer. Everything that we did, you you know, when we started opening back up. So I try to protect me and just be mindful of other people too. Reporting, I'm Bryant Medrick, 41 Action News.